Joe Healy, D1 Baseball here with Kentucky Head Baseball Coach Nick Mingione. Uh, coach, you've made it. Your program's in Omaha. How does it feel now that you're actually here in the stadium? I can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, having been here before with Mississippi State yeah. and then to bring a team and a program and an institution that's never been um, just unbelievable amounts of joy and gratitude. Just so thankful for this opportunity. And um, I'm looking forward to the fans having an experience that they've never had, literally. They've never experienced the great people of Omaha, what the College World Series is all about. And um, I, I even woke up Monday morning and I was like, rolled over and I was like, Kristen, we did it. <laughs> like, I was still like, it kind of feels like, yeah. uh, like not real now, yeah, you know? Yeah. So just thankful. Yeah. thankful. How gratifying is it for you and your coaching staff to get this group of guys? It's an older group, has been in the a lot of them been in the program a long time. Must be gratifying to get them here and give them that opportunity. You bring up such a good point, Joe, and I think that was one of the keys to us making it is having enough guys back from that super regional team where we faced Superman and Paul Skeens right. and an unbelievable LSU, the eventual national champions. We had enough of those guys back that have seen it, tasted it, touched it, smelt it, and we're like, wow, we really are this close. And then for them to go out and have the year they did and then actually have the path to here through Kentucky Proud Park in Kentucky was obviously really important. Well, yeah, tell us a little bit about that because as happy as you are to be here, I mean, it had to have been tough to give up the fact that home field advantage, right? The last two weekends seems like it's been an incredible atmosphere. Tell us about that. Yeah, the fans, I mean, we set records back-to-back -back nights and just all through the regional we kept setting records and records and records for the crowds and it lifted our guys up it fully lifted them up it gave them an opportunity to feel what it's like in an environment where everyone's pulling for you yeah. and the guys that were in the program a year ago were in the super and it's like the whole world's against us yeah. in alex box like it's supposed to be yeah. and we had enough guys that have been there and, and felt that and then what they did for us most people think about the crowds getting involved on the offensive side Joe, they lifted us up on the pitching and defensive side. Yeah. It's time to make a pitch, and they're into it. And our, the level of a focus of our pitchers to be able to execute pitches and our defense to make plays, it helped us on both sides. Given the way this club has handled everything this season, I have to imagine you don't have a lot of worry about them showing up for the moment when they get on the field officially here in a couple days. Oh, if they play tight or lack of aggressive or they're not attacking, they're going to see us out of Coach Mingione they don't like. <laughs> yeah. And um, But I, I don't worry about that. I. To your point, this has been a group that has just handled their business and just gone on to the next thing incredible, like with incredible focus and determination. So I fully expect them to do the same. Coach, congratulations on getting here. Good luck this week. Thanks for all you guys do for us. Yeah. Go Cats.